Marcy here from the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I just want to say welcome. I am a homeschooling mama too. I have a five-year-old who's going to be in kindergarten in the fall and a 13-year-old who's going to be in eighth grade in the fall. And I love to make homeschooling videos to encourage and motivate homeschooling parents. Today I have another review for you all uh, as part of the homeschool review crew. I'm going to be reviewing for you the Christian Christian Focus uh, Big Bible Science. And this is a Christian curriculum to teach kids um, uh, through science experiments, but also with a Christian worldview. Um, after you're done watching this video, make sure you check below the blog post where you can check everyone this uh, review on this curriculum. You can watch their videos and also uh, read their blog post. And I will also put a link below where you can uh, find this <laughs> curriculum. Okay, this is a science um, book with a with a Christian focus, and it's full of experiments in here that for your children to work through. And one of the things that I like about this book is the experiments they have. You know, different. Um, you know, with different topics. One of the things, you know, we started with gravity. We were, we did a, a, an experiment with the Newton's law of motion. There's things here about animals, the body, water energy so there's just kind of an overview of everything this book is for about 7 to 11 years old i use it with my five-year-old and i use it with my she was 12 at the time she just turned um 13 last week so this is just a great aid range you know you can also do it with with the little ones you can you know modify it if you need to or make it more advanced if you need to um there's three i'm going to tell you really quick the three things that i loved about this and then i'm going to show you you know the inside so you can see how the lessons are structured um look at my notes really quick so one of the things that I love about this, these are very easy lessons. These are lessons that your children, if, if they wanted to, they could do on their own. The reading is pretty easy. So if you have an older kid, you know, wanting to not, maybe not the five-year-old, but your 12 to 13 year old could do these lessons on their own. Um, so they're easy, they're easy to follow. Another thing, like I was saying, is it, all your kid, all your age ranges of kids can work on this together. So one is another thing that I loved about it. And how everything, actually I have four things I wanna tell you. How everything was easily available, you know, all the materials that you needed were easily available with things you have at home. And the fourth thing, the most important thing, it is God-centered. So yet yeah, we are talking about science, but how does God is in all, is in, in, in everything that we do and everything revolves around God, okay? So that's all the four things that I enjoy about this um, curriculum. So like I said, the you know, curriculum covers different areas. So I think it will be good if for, if you're looking just for one year of, you know, of school, if you wanna just you know, concentrate and just kind of a, a broad you know, overview of science, this will be a great book you know, to start with, uh, especially you know, with, when you are in elementary school, when you don't have to you know, um, be in a specific, you know, one you know, um, um, specific thing. So this will be for a great overview of science because like I said, there's less than an animal, a motion and gravity, energy, uh, body. So it's just like a good you know, overview of science lessons. So all the lessons, I'm gonna show you really quick here how they are. So, so the first lesson that we did, we talked about gravity. And when you look at the lessons, the first thing, they are you know, separated into you know, some uh, categories. The first you know, category in the lessons is the big idea. So you talk about a uh, Bible passage and you, they're trying to relate the Bible passage to the, the science uh, topic that they are talking about, okay? And so I thought that was great how they are incorporating and they're just not just um, talking about science. They're talking about science, but they're also you know, talking about different Bible stories in here. So I love that about, about this um, lessons, okay? So that's the first spark, the big idea. They take a Bible passage and they incorporate it or, and, or, and they, how they, this Bible passage relates to that uh, science thing that we are gonna be uh, working on, okay? 
The next thing will, is the activity. So you do a couple activities here to work on that main uh, theme. So in here we're talking about gravity. So we talked about gravity and we, we, and we did some, some activities uh, to, to help the kids understand where gravity was. And my little one, even as five years old, was I think uh, he can't, you know, he understood a lot of it. And we talk about hypothesis and he understood a little bit what that meant. So it was great. So like I said, good for little ones and for older ones. Then is there a section here where you can apply what you have learned. And then let me see, go beyond. Is there more and more examples of, you know, different things that you can do to go beyond? If your kid is interested in doing a little bit more, if you have a kid that's a little bit older or more advanced, you can work on those, um, go, you know, beyond activities. Okay. So all the lessons in here are separated into, into those four. You have the big idea where you, you can pair the Bible passage with the, with the uh with the lesson with the skill that you're learning about or the theme and then you have the activity the apply it other ways that you can apply it in the real world and then go beyond if they're one of your kids that seem interested in that topic a little bit more advanced older kids you can try those um go beyond activities okay so i'm gonna read you really quick you know the type of lessons that were in here like i said it's kind of variety of things um like we did gravity then, you know, there's three lessons, you know, the Newton's uh, first, second, and third law of motion, electricity, acid and bases, uh, plant requirements, a little bit of a um, craters on the moon, water cycle, animal classification. I'm not reading, I'm just reading a couple muscles, bones. So you can see it's a variety. This was great. Like I say, if you're looking for something, kind of to start your science um, for, for elementary grade, just kind of give it a, a Break, uh, overview of science you can totally do this you can take one or two days to do each lesson or maybe one day as long you know a good thing about homeschool is you can do this as uh take as much as your time with a lesson or you know as much as you want go fast go slow so this would just great uh so it'll be a great like introduction to science and just get, like i say gives a good overview okay so this is my review of Christian Focus Big Bible Science. Uh, make sure when you're done watching this video, you go below and you check everyone's posts, like I say, either a video or a blog. Um, I tell you this every time, go ahead, if you're interested in this, go ahead and look at those videos and, uh, or, or read those blog posts because everybody's gonna have a different view of the curriculum or anything that they're, they're you know, re reviewing because we're all so different. And that's one of the wonderful things about being part of the homeschool review crew. And also make sure you go below and I'll put a link where you can get this awesome book. It is really good. My kids enjoyed it. Even my little one got so much out of it. So I'm really, um, um, I'm really, you know, excited or keep, you know, working with this with, with him. He's going to be going into, into kindergarten so I can get a couple things that are here for him next year and for my daughter to do together. That's why I loved about it. They, they were able to do it together. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, to hit that subscription button and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see you all soon. Bye.